Hello everyone. Welcome for today's uh, price action analysis of Bank Nifty Futures using one minute uh, candlestick chart and uh, we'll go through bar by bar analysis and see what trades were possible that uh, could have been taken and uh, let's go through them one by one. Okay, not that you uh, see multiple trades here but at least the analysis will help you understand the process right this dark blue line is yesterday's high and the price failed there on the first part itself you see a big tail on the top and big tail at the bottom so possible trading range behavior on the first bar itself then an attempt by uh, bulls to hold the price here above the this zone which is yesterday's high so that at least bulls could push the prices up but they couldn't manage to do so right what you see is two inside bars within the range of bar one so this is kind of an ii pattern right so both the bars have tails on top bulls did make an attempt to get out of this zone and there's a breakout that this triangle kind of a triangle which is an ii pattern that i show here wherein they made an attempt right but what happened next is that bears scaled in about this zone they did not allow this breakout of this ii pattern to be successful right they caught the bull uh, off guard so these bulls who bought in the here i mean the breakout as well as the close of this bar were disappointed or, or trapped so once this bear pressure overwhelmed them this was clearly setting the tone for the day at least for a while <clears throat> you see a good follow through on bar 6 uh, below uh, it did uh, manage to get below bar 1's low it did not close below bar 1 low but at least there is a follow through right I, didn't, I couldn't take uh, this short trade or think of it because I saw this bull break out so I was hoping whether I can get a long entry. I was completely caught uh, unaware of this short opportunity which was there. Okay, never mind. Uh, we get a lot of opportunities during the day and you need to be focused on what is there that you are able to analyze based on your method and uh, make sure you pull trigger on such trades. Right. What you see next is uh, there is a failed breakout below this because bulls bought the in this area or zone and this bar is a closing bullish. So possibly a failed breakout chance but it is basically getting into this resistance zone. Right. This is around 49.98 and this is around uh, 15.11 so not much room for the price to go. Uh, not even 20 points so you have to be very careful if you really want to go long here right so with this uh, I was thinking of slightly bearish uh, bias because this bar has closed uh, bullet uh, sorry bearish even though it did not manage to close uh, decisively below bar once low two bull bars seven and eight uh, but it's a weak more up more because you don't see a distance being covered compared with this right this is a weak response by the bulls what do you see next some beers uh, try to scale it and it was a test of this zone is a test this bar high is a test of this uh, short below bar 4 low and it stopped there that means some of the break even stops were not hit those who shorted below bar 4 then you see here is there are some of the beers who sold the close of this bar which was actually open on this bar so beers scaled in on this bar and they pushed the prices up and gave up so some beers gave up here so does that mean the path for bulls is clear what well, that's what the bar next few bars will tell us right bar 10 so if beers some of the beers gave up uh, bulls also couldn't manage to create any impact here bar 10 is again a weak looking bar, bar overlap dojis uh, overlap here at least two bars 9 and 10 right bears again trying to push the prices down bull made an attempt definitely but it was a weak one it, it could stall this high is around 
basically 1509 and it, that's where this bar also stalled. So break when stopped for these bears who shorted here is not hit. So that's a clue, right? That bull response to this bear pressure is weak. And that's where you get shot. Because, because there are multiple attempts that are being made by the bulls. You go short, you get shot here. There's a, a room here to EMA, which, which was not 30 points, but at least you could get 30, uh, 25 points for sure out of this short trade, which was based on the price action analysis of what is going on bar by bar. Beers were stronger clearly and this weaker response by bulls. This was a second attempt and this is a test of the breakout below this bar and that's where you get shot. This bar also had a tail at the bottom, again tail, so it was not a conducive or very convincing move by beers but at least it kept going down and you had at least 25 uh, points of profit to be pocketed. Another important point that I wanted to <coughs> highlight here is the lines, the trend lines and the trend channel lines. What you see here is what the moment you see the swing highs and lows or pivot highs and lows, you start drawing the lines. So here it is the uh, uh, bars 1, 6 and this bar being connected. I mean once you connect bar 1 and 6, you extend it, uh, that is probably where it will find support, right? And then I drew a parallel to this 1 and 7 and this is where the channel is being drawn. So the price will try and remain in this zone unless we get to see a breaker. But once it is broken out of this zone, right? What I see is it is stalling here. Okay, and I draw a line from here to here and draw a parallel with the significant period low here and draw a parallel like this. So this is where when it started getting resistance in those this zone, it stalled around this area. At, this is the train channel line. This is the train line. This is the train channel line. So train channel lines offer a, uh, a good uh, area where you get the support or resistance depending upon where uh, what trade you are taking. And for a long trade, it could be a resistance. For a short trade, it could be support where you could book profits. Right? It's important to know how to draw these lines uh, and I have just illustrated it uh, with this example. I might be doing a separate video uh, simply to know how to draw these lines that are really useful for you to understand the profit booking zones. Coming back to today's analysis, this was the only trade that at least uh, I uh, could uh, think of. I mean, it was safe enough based on the method that we follow. In this zone, I couldn't pick up anything. I did not want to go long here because uh, I did not see any setups that where, where I saw any disappointments or traps as such. I did not uh, go for this trade because I did not see bulls getting trapped. Maybe they were, but at least based on the method that I follow, I, uh, I did not see. And it is very important, something that you don't understand, don't do it. Don't try this might work trade, which is very important because it is very much needed to avoid wrong trades so that you can stay in the game and you can look at uh, fighting for another day okay that's it i hope it helped thanks for